Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Cancer friends and friends of Cancer. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So, Cancer, hello, hello. I know it's been a minute, and I have missed you guys. Thank you so much for your patience as I'm restructuring everything. Um, so, I do have some messages here from meditation, or quite a few oracle cards, actually, <laughs> were requested to be pulled. We'll go over those, and then messages from the tarot, okay, as we do. So, Cancer, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, things are weird right now, right? Um, whether that is something you're just feeling or it's just apparent, logically, things are weird. <laughs> uh, crunchy, I guess, if you will. A lot of messages came through meditation. And just on a personal level, I, I know I am, I am very tired myself. There's a lot of energy that's moving through the collective um, through individually as well. It feels like there's just a lot of um, kind of cleaning house is what comes to mind. Um, upgrades that are happening, but in order for these upgrades to happen, I see it kind of like building muscle. In order to build muscle, that muscle first has to be destroyed or at least destroyed to a point, micro tears. So I feel like right now um, we are being torn at a micro level and we may not see that effect but we sure as hell are feeling it right so um let's get into this cancer so the first thing that came through was the television um and asking what this is about i was told turn it off so i don't feel like that is completely like you know like i feel like television any sort of electronic form of electronic it's more than okay to use as um, as a form of entertainment. What I get from this is there may be a, um, a dependence on that to provide relief to something, or there may be a hyperfixation or obsession on what's coming through that TV, depending on what it is that you are watching. Um, like I said, there's a lot there's a lot going on right now, and I'm I don't feel like the message is to encourage to completely disconnect, maybe for a day, you know? Um, if you find you are one of these people who are not taking any time or moments to disconnect from the insanity that is being a human being in the world today, then um, this message is for you, okay? I feel like it's encouragement to take more time to be in your own energy because um, there's a lot of confusion out there. Okay, and we need your clarity, right? The next thing that came through was uh, decorative and decor, uh, and then bliss came after that. So what I took from that message is actually an encouragement towards nesting, which is um, something that's right up your alley anyway, right? Um, cancer definitely loves to make a home, typically. Uh, I feel like there's an encouragement right now, especially on top of turning off the television, there's an encouragement to create a space for yourself, a safe space, a space that um, you can heal, you can thrive, you can uh, find joy, okay? A bubble away from the insanity that's going on right now. And I feel like, back to the television here, because all these electronic devices are nothing more than portals, right? It, and there are benefits to it. It gives us the ability to connect with people, to travel through space and time. Um, even here on YouTube, you can watch videos from, you know, however long ago up until now as if it's happening right now. It's, um, it's a form of a portal. So just being conscious about what it is that you are allowing into your space that is meant to hold the ability to create bliss for you and healing, like I said. So there's a request to focus a little bit more on your home life um, and how you feel there. The next thing that I saw was a woodpecker. Um, and I did have to look up what the meaning of a woodpecker was. Um, clever communication is actually what stood out to me there. So I don't know if um, there's somebody you need to have communication with and you're, there's stress surrounding that, there's a need to be clever. I kind of take it uh, more, again, connecting back to this television, just seems, this black mirror, you guys, <laughs> seems to be standing out. I feel like it's an alert or heads up that um, there's a lot of clever communication going on around always but these days specifically um, worldwide okay and um, I feel like the encouragement is just to pay attention to not take everything 
um, at face value. And I feel like in order to be able to do that, there is a need to have a semblance of, of stability or, or um, feeling centered within your own energy in order to distinguish what may be somebody with a silver tongue and what is truth, right? So again, nesting, creating a sanctuary for yourself right now is so, so important always, but right now especially I feel like is very, very important. Um, the numbers seven and 13 came through as well. Could be, <laughs> I mean, we are here in July. Um, I'm recording this on the 11th, so it's in a couple days if it is a date. Uh, but I, I didn't get anything else surrounding that. Next I saw was a crow with a marble in its mouth or beak that looked like the earth. Um, so the component, uh, crows have a lot of symbolism, spiritual sight, sight unseen was something that came through. Uh, and I put a question mark on that because again, I'm not quite sure. Uh, what that's referring to, but crows can also refer to uh, change. So the way I took that holding the globe is change is coming. Um, what kind of change here? Well, I guess we'll see. I think that there's a large portion of that change depends on a lot of us. What choices are we going to make, right? But change is coming. <laughs> Uh, next thing I saw was a diadem, and um, I didn't have any connection to that either. Diadem is like a little um, crownlet, <laughs> like a, a, a piece that you would uh, wear in your hair with jewels and that sort of thing. Um, next thing that I saw was a person wearing a crocodile mask. <laughs> um, what came through on that initially was like hiding with the crocs. There could be something, again, back to like the silver tongue, there could be a little bit of um, confusion, intentional confusion that's happening. You may be in a situation where there are people around that have that kind of crocodile energy. Um, guardianship, okay, guardianship and protection actually really stood out about it. So at first I kind of got this uneasy feeling about it, like being in a den of, of crocodiles or snakes, I guess. Um, but guardianship and protection. So wearing this mask, it's almost like it allows you safe passage through this mob <laughs> of crocodiles, okay? Um, yeah, that's what I got for your um, meditation. Oh, there was, I guess I will say that. I, there was the last component of being in like the den of crocs or whatever. I thought about the movie Idiocracy. Um, because they all wear Crocs in there. And I know that if you haven't seen Idiocracy, I encourage you to take a look at it. It's very poignant, I feel, especially um, parallels to what we're experiencing these days. But um, Crocs are were chosen by the costume designer there because they thought they looked so stupid and that nobody would ever, ever wear them. <laughs> but then they actually ended up becoming popular. So um, that connection just brought me back to Idiocracy. Feel free to... Take a look at it if you want. So let's move into your oracle messages. That was a lot, um, but here we are. Here we are, you guys. Um, so the blue angel oracle is what Spirit wanted to work with here. And there were actually four cards that came out for you guys. So I'll show it to you in pairs. Healing and Deva magic. And then guidance and forever in my light. So healing here, we'll start bring my notebook back here get back here. so healing um, this is about peace and um, an acceptance to heal so I feel like there is a request right now uh, back to kind of nesting here too I feel like this is why it's so important to create a space to heal so that you can heal I feel like there is a guidance towards this action right now and there may be some resistance coming up too I feel like specifically surrounding fear Maybe that it's not possible to heal in a personal situation for you or as a collective. Things being the way that they are, just to put it vaguely. <laughs> uh, it may be creating a situation of resistance towards healing. So I feel like spirit is coming through here and saying, let's get that out of here. That doesn't belong. That doesn't belong in flow, right? Resistance doesn't belong in flow. And um, there's a lot of resistance actually in these cards that came up. So Deva Magic, um, I love that there's the rose on there. I do get protection comes through with roses as well. Very high vibration. 
Um, but Deva Magic requests that we go back and look at something that we may have dismissed in the past as insignificant. It may seem small, uh, whatever this is that was overlooked, but it's actually not. It has great potential or significance in our lives. Um, I get kind of, I did a, in my personal meditation earlier today when I went out to do grounding, there was a lot of message that came through. And I thought about diving into that with cancer here because you guys are my emotional buddies. It was a very emotional message. And um, I feel like I'm actually going to make a separate um, video here surrounding that message. But um, the, the flap of a butterfly's wing, that's where I was going. Sorry. That's what I feel like this is talking about. That came through in my meditation, this idea of, of a flap of a butterfly's wing. Something that we, we are that flap, okay? Our experience here is that flap. And there's something to be said about what it is that we're doing, even when we're not doing things, that actually has a large contribution to the greater whole. So we'll explore that a little bit further too, but something is being requested to, to come back and take a second look at, okay? Guidance here, moving into guidance. So um, guidance here is inner light. Don't settle for anything that doesn't feel right to you. This card talks about, um, well, that, but it encourages you not to just take somebody's word for something. Again, I'm kind of, I'm brought back to the TV situation there. There are a lot of words flying around these days to the point where words are almost meaningless, if not some of them being meaningless. Um, you know how you say the same word over and over again and it loses its meaning? Like giraffe is one of those for me that goes really quick. Giraffe, giraffe, giraffe. <laughs> um, that's kind of how I feel. Words are being used so much that they're essentially meaningless right now. So you're being asked to, instead of just taking words at face value to feel for truth, if somebody's saying something to you and it doesn't feel right, you need to take ownership of those feelings. You need to honor that, okay? And I, th I feel like especially right now, this is very important. So forever in my light is the next that comes through here. Forever in my light is safe and sound. Um, this card encourages, reminds you, it helps to bring a feeling of safety around you by saying that you are protected, okay? That um, there is not a reason to worry. No worries, you guys, no worries. Things are gonna be fine, and they will. And I don't mean that as a dismissive because there are, there are many reasons to fear these days and always. But that doesn't mean that you should choose or need to choose to be afraid. Okay. Let's move into the other, uh, the other two oracle cards here, and then we'll get into the tarot. It's a little bit longer message for you guys. It is what it is. So resistance and protection are what came out. This is the Urban Crow Tarot. Protection, you guys, and resistance, like I said, is something that's been coming through a lot here in this message. So protection reminds you as well that you are protected. As you go about your day, your life, you're being encouraged to remember that you do carry protection with you. Again, in a time where there is so much fear, please know that you are protected. Resistance here. So this is... Um, Anything that this deals with uh, resistance towards healing, resistance towards accepting that you are protected, resistance towards um, understanding that you are that flap of the butterfly wing. The magnitude of effect you actually carry just by being. Okay. So this, this card is reminding you to uh, find the path of least resistance. To work to be like water, I guess, is actually what comes through. Water will find the path of least, re least resistance, always. Does that make water weak to find the path, path of least resistance? No. Water is the only <laughs> thing here that will break any element down eventually, right? Over time, water will destroy everything. 
but it also knows that it doesn't need to exert that much effort to find the path through. Okay? All right, so let's get into your tarot messages here. 15 minutes in here, my goodness. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, that was uh, out of the group of signs that I meditated on for you guys here that you just had the longest message. It's a lot to say, Cancer. All right, so this is the This May Hurt Tarot. We'll start with Spirit, what do we have for Cancer? Huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support, as always. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there's a join button next to the subscribe button. Feel free to hit subscribe if you haven't already. There's a link in the description of the video as well if that button isn't appearing. Sometimes it does glitch out. I have personal readings open and available. My link is in the description of the video to my website. Feel free to take a look at that if you are interested and need some additional guidance at this time. Okay, seven of wands here at the bottom. So this is your fear version. Anxiety, or excuse me, hope and fear. <laughs> Maybe they're a bit blended right now. Um, hopes and dreams is what I was trying to say. I have definitely, like I said, there's a lot of energy that's moving through and it's definitely taking its toll on my brain. Um, <laughs> oh, well. And I am super sunburnt right now, too. If any, yeah, I'm sure you guys can can see, but uh, it is hotter than blazes over here. <laughs> I think we hit like 104 today, so um, tank top it is. But anyway, seven of wands, your dreams, hopes and dreams. Um, this is courage. It's just standing your ground too. So I do feel like maybe you're aware, you're feeling this pull from many different places to persuade you to think or to feel a certain way about something. Uh, a lot of that is going on right now. I mean, that's really, that's politics in general. Um, that's business, capitalism. There's so much persuasion that is a part of our day-to-day -day life. So I feel like your hope here is to stand your ground. Maybe you are feeling a bit pulled, like I said. And maybe you're feeling unsure about what it is that you are feeling because there's so much floating around. I know I've been dealing with a little bit of that too, so I would imagine you guys are as well. Have courage, okay? You are protected. And you do know what is best for yourself, okay? All right, so this is the Deviant Moon Tarot we're gonna use for your second deck here. Spirit, what do we have for Cancer? Nine of Swords there, the split, of course. Anxiety, insomnia, yeah. I know I've definitely had a very, very hard time sleeping these past couple of days. Just so much going on. Um, this is a general message, you guys, so please keep that in mind. You are extremely intelligent. Please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you, and feel free to leave the rest behind. <laughs> the fool here falls out. I did have this fall out in this other deck when I was shuffling, too. I do feel like a new journey is, is happening here, but there's also that component of our fear towards feeling the fool. Or maybe you are feeling like a fool. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um... Yes, check out your rising moon and Venus signs is what I was going to say. Any other major component components of your chart? My brain. My brain. <laughs> Knight of Cups. So this is your fear aversion. Anxiety. Knight of Cups here, this is, um, this is romance. I do feel like there is um, hedonism comes through. That's interesting. I just get this feeling of like a an insatiable pull or drive. Like a furnace that's never full. Um, maybe you are struggling with something right now in, in connection to everything that's going on. Maybe you're trying to feel better by uh, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Extra food, um, less activity. I don't know, whatever, whatever makes you feel comfortable. More drinking substances. Um, what have you, maybe more TV. This constant pursuit of trying to feel better. That's what I feel. And the fear surrounding that is like, is that ever, am I ever going to feel better? I feel you, Cancer. And I do feel like things will level out. But right now they're rough. There's some rough 
rough waters, okay? So to start off with here, in the general, you guys have the moon. This is um, our unconscious realm. This is, um, one second here. I need to get a bigger table. <laughs> our unconscious realm, this is our fears. This lobster down here symbolizes our fears. The two um, trees in this situation symbolize those protections that man builds in order to feel safe. So kind of drawing back to the Knight of Cups in the fear anxiety, I do feel like there is, um, I don't want to say overreaction. The response right now in your system to the fear, to feeling negative emotions, feeling empty, is to um, build these protections, which could be anything, like I said, substances, food, um, kind of slipping into devil territory, okay? I feel like there's an encouragement here. Instead of building those protections or leaning on those protections, protections, um, to actually use the light of the moon here to guide your way through that path, okay? Which is going to be what's coming up here from the unconscious realm. And I feel like this is more global unconscious realm for sure but also individual unconscious. We're, we're kind of all a part of the same, right? So whatever's coming up fear-wise right now, instead of trying to put it into a box or protect yourself away from it, um, date it, interesting. Take it out on a date. Learn what its favorite color is. Learn how, how you can actually work yourself through that fear. Like I said, there are many things, everything, that could evoke fear right now, many reasons to fear right now, but it's your choice to be afraid, okay? Um, Eight of Pentacles comes through here next. So this has to deal with work, passion you put towards your work. I feel like um, there is this cycle of burnout that's happening here. You are approach, trying to approach this fear, protection, all that jazz. And something is just not like you're losing more energy than you're gaining. For some of you, there could be some fear surrounding work right now. I feel like the encouragement here is to, um, well, there's that furnace too. <laughs> I was talking about the unfeedable furnace, which really, well, I guess that kind of speaks to capitalism itself. And to be honest with you, I feel like um, that's a lot of what is hurting <laughs> a lot of us right now. And it's difficult not to take that personally, to make that about us, right? How do we get out of this? <laughs> How do we find a, a better way to experience this? I feel like passion, okay, first of all, the decision to... Um, Find a solution through movement rather than protection as far as like sequestering that away. But passion is coming out here too. We need the heart so bad right now. And that's a lot of what came through in meditation for me. Like I said, I'll make, I'll make a, a separate video on that. But um, we need passion and purpose right now. Do you know what yours is? You may not have the energy to pursue that right now, but do you know what it is? Do you know what you feel passionate about? Turn off the TV and try to figure that out if you don't, okay? All right, so good stuff here for you. Cancer, two of swords. I feel like this is, um, this is a decision being at a crossroads. The two of swords though are um, two things that are being balanced here. You're holding them in balance, but they're heavy. They're heavy as shit. And um, I feel like with the moon here, there is a passage through, like I said, and this requires you to, um, this requires you, mm, sight unseen, okay, interesting. That blindfold is what was standing out to me here. This isn't about looking around you here to see the path. This is seeing with the heart. The uh, benefit here, the, the being in the good stuff, I feel like that ability is magnified right now. 
Are you willing to lean into that to see what it has to say? It may not be comfortable, but it's important, okay? Nine of Wands comes through here too. In your good stuff. This is the Wounded Warrior, resiliency. What it is that you are building, have been building, you, your life, has value. Always. And if there isn't success right now, this indicates that there is success coming. I do feel like we're just continually being pushed into this funnel. At some point, that funnel is either going to need to blow or we'll get through the funnel, right? This is just a reminder that um, I kind of get this feeling of like when you need to take a break, take a break. But this card in particular, they've got their head hung so low. I feel like this is kind of how you're feeling right now. Stuck between a rock and a hard place and this feeling of where is their passage? Maybe I'm not even like, I'm not even asking for bliss or happiness right now. I'm just asking for a lack of shit. <laughs> And that's real, that's real. This is a reminder um, to hang in there, okay, you guys? We're only gonna get through this together, okay? So what you don't see coming, what's in the dark? Mm-hmm, okay. Three of Swords. So Three of Swords, this is um, heartbreak, sadness, loss, grief. <sighs> um, I typically like to lean into, this is about us healing this heart, okay? And this deck in particular with the swan, it reminds me of like a death of innocence in particular. Um, I do kind of get this feeling of it's going to get worse before it gets better. I feel like this is definitely more of a collective thing rather than an individual personal thing. But the request here is to remember, just like with all of the... Um, cards that came through here in Oracle, you are protected. Remember that, okay? You are being guided. You are being reminded that um, you're safe, okay? No matter what is coming forward here that may cause a little bit more turbulence, um, you're going to be okay. But I do, I feel like this is more collective than it is individual. The chariot comes through here next to clarify that. So this is positive forward movement um, as progress. It could be literal moving for some of you. Um, but this doesn't come, this movement does not come without its own challenges. And that's kind of what I feel like this is that's coming through here. <sighs> moving through this funnel here. Um, this is your card as well, <laughs> by the way. So there's something about, I'm going to pull a couple extra cards on this here, please, Spirit. Get a little more, a little more guidance on that, please. Three of Pentacles. So this is success in working with others. Um, this may be a time where... This may be a time where you need to... I do get kind of counsel from this, where you do need to reach out to others for, for some help right now, you know? community and connection this is recognition though so i do feel like there is something from the past for some of you this three of swords does represent this heartbreak from the past and we've talked about a lot of heartbreak for you guys cancer a lot of shitty shit and two of swords there at the bottom too with the chariot your card coming through there i am kind of getting this vibe of um or request to to break out of the shell in ways where you're at, where you are connecting with actual people in comparison to like watching TV like I said that's not that's not um, actually connecting with people there's something about healing that heart through connection always 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 but you've got um, yeah two threes there anything else here please spirit for cancer and two of cups cancer and Venus Connection is Venus, you guys. Um, so yes, I feel like what you don't see coming here, hmm, I like that too, actually. There may be somebody coming through for some of you in the form of a romantic relationship or friendship. 
but this requires you to uh, put yourself out there too, okay? But yeah, I do see some connection coming through. Ooh, interesting. I'm being drawn back here with the imagery of the rose on Day the Magic, requesting going back and looking at something again. I'm not encouraging <laughs> allowing exes to come back in. That's not, I'm not a huge fan of that, truly. But I do get kind of something more along the lines of somebody that, I don't know, maybe you lost contact with friendship wise. There's a request to go back and look at a connection again. One last card on that and we'll move forward. Anything else about that, please, Spirit? The Tower. Yeah, okay. So this feels like somewhere there was a fallout. Hmm. Maybe a fight, something like that. Hmm. If it resonates with you, yeah, take it, you guys. Consider it. Maybe there's somebody from your past that you do need to reconnect with. So your challenge, obstacle at this time, you have three of wands. This is your um, expansion. This is your journey. This is you participating in your journey. Your ship coming in. Um, I feel like on help arriving at exactly the right time. I feel like all of these things, honestly, you're in a place where you really need these things. And a lot of us do. And that's not to dismiss the individual's need. It is just highlighting how bad it is for, for a lot of us. Um, so the difficult part for you right now, I feel like, is being able to bring your head up. I'm being drawn back to this here too, that head down. Bringing your head up to see the horizon line. Maybe there is a little bit too much of a focus on each step that you're taking right now. Not that that should be thrown out the window, but I think that hyper focus on the moment that is right in front of you does require a little bit of looking out to the distance from time to time too. A good balance between, between the two. Queen of Swords comes through here as well. Um, I do actually, because this is being honest, okay? Being kind but blunt, a need to be honest about something. It can also be... Um, uh, snow bitch, <laughs> snow queen here, um, on the shadow side of it, turning off the heart again, like I was saying earlier, I do feel strong. We need to start communicating through the heart as a Gemini who loves their words for sure. I am a cancer Venus though, as well. <laughs> um, I do love to speak through the heart. And I feel like that superpower of yours is being requested right now to come to the surface. And there may be some fear or pain even in thinking about doing that. Um, she's shedding a tear right here. Can signify mourning as well. I do feel like there is some pain or loss that is stuck or you may be stuck in right now. And that looking out to the distance here, um, I kind of feel like this could be a person too. Maybe this is the person that you're being asked to reconnect with. I don't normally go this far into it, but can we get a little bit more here on the on that topic, please, Spirit? This person. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like um, this form of security or safety, having the rug ripped out from underneath you is kind of what I get. For some of you, it could symbolize like a home. Something, someone who um, provided safety, provided this feeling of home or allowed you to feel at home. I feel like the encouragement here is to mourn for sure, grieve. That's okay. But not to, not to get stuck in that moment, okay? If this is somebody that you do have access to contacting, um, for some of you, I do feel like that's that's a good idea, okay? Maybe enough time's passed. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and get you an Animal Spirit Oracle card here, and then I'm going to move into the extended portion, you guys. If you want to join me for that, there'll be links in the description of the video as well. So what do, you, what do we have here for Cancer, please, Spirit? I feel like we want two. So Tiger. Tiger comes out. 
and hyena. If I can pick this up. Tiger and hyena. Um, so tiger here is a uh, feminine force. It's got that lunar lunar force. Very moon, very you, okay? Um, I'm gonna get this up here in the book one second. With hyena, there's a request to, there's a request to um, pay attention to, I do feel like there's a request to laugh some things off, but to also look at where you might be dismissing where there is something more serious to humor or to um, to comedy, okay? Knowing, knowing when to balance those two things. When to laugh, when to cry. Uh, lunar force, ease and darkness, and feminine energy. So, Trataka, that's what, to bring that into balance. This is the, the tiger here, this is your, this is your power that's here in the dark. We can be afraid of that, hearing the sounds rustling in the bushes, <laughs> and think that it's something to fear, um, but it's actually our own power that's, that's sitting there in the dark. The divine feminine is the darkness. So I feel like um, there is something that's coming up and you may, be, you may be pushing it aside out of fear that it's something that's here to harm you when in fact it's actually here to help you, to help you feel whole. Yeah, letting things flow right now, you guys, even, even if you don't know where it's flowing, okay? Having faith that you are being protected and you are, you are being guided. Hang in there, Cancer. I love you guys, okay? If this is where I leave you, thank you so much for joining me here. Like I said, moving into the extended. Feel free to hop into the description for links there. Um, personal readings are open, like I said. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. All great ways to support me in the growth of the channel, and I truly appreciate it. In the extended, I'll be going into uh, direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and then what is most likely being manifested for you based on your thoughts and emotions. I do have my PayPal and Cash App links in the description if you feel called to tip or donate. I truly appreciate it, you guys. It goes a long way, and I love you. So please take care of yourself. I'll see you all very soon. All right? Be well.